محمد سيد الكونين والثقالين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجل مولا يا صل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله مولا يا صل All of you, I want you to listen well, okay? Um, was your name Kathy? No, that's Christina. Christina, you're Kathy. Okay, um, Christina, Kathy's daughter, while she was given the presentation, she said um, in some parts of Africa, people, they worship snakes. And that's true. In, in, in different parts of the world, people worship different creations that they, they, they look at and they say, wow, these things are strong. These things are really, really strong. They're really helpful to us. Um, some people, even in the past, they have worshipped the sun. They have worshipped the moon and stars. And even there are some people today, e even though a very small number. Now, from an Islamic perspective, we're all Muslims, aren't we? Yeah. For, from a Muslim perspective, the only one who deserves to be worshipped, the only one we bow down to is who? God, Allah. Allah. Okay? And wh what do we say about God? We say God is not similar, not like the creation. So when we say creation, we don't mean like just humans or animals. We mean humans, animals, um, the animals in the ocean, the animals that fly. Any type of thing that you imagine in your mind, God is not like that. And all the creation, all the, um, all the creation, they, say, they share something in common. Now, what do I have in common with the snake? Put your hand up. What do I have in common with the snake? Me? Yeah. Yes. Um, your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I have a color and the snake has a color. That's one thing in common. What's another thing in common, you both, you both eat smell in here. We both eat. He smells too? Yes. He smells. And he, and we hear, he hears too? Uh, I really don't know much about snakes. They have the yeah. inner part of your yeah. ear, so they'll feel the vibrations. Okay, Just so he like mentioned snakes. like four things. Can, can we get more things in common between me and a snake? Yes. We both have eyes. We both have eyes, yeah. We both, but where does the snake usually live? Underground, eh? They usually underground live, or in like, trees. They, they go underground. They go on the trees. What do they usually eat? You said rodents? Rodents. Yeah, rodents. So, so, so there is a similarity between us and between any animal, any of the creation. Even if you look at the sun, what's the similarity between you and the sun? They give light. What, what's the similarity between you and the sun? Um, we have a body, we have a shape, we have a form. And even the sun in the sky has a body and a shape and a form. But we, the, the reason why as Muslims we don't worship any of the creation is because we believe all the creation have, um, have a similarity. They have bodies, they got forms, um, they have a color, they, they may eat or sleep. A lot of similarities between all of the things that God created. And we believe that God is unequal, unsimilar to any of the creation. So we don't say God has a color, do we? No. no. We don't say God has a shape or hands or legs or eyes. No. We say God sees everything, but without eyes, because eyes is, creation. Uh, is a creation with which God made us see. And if God willed, God could have made us see with our ears and hear with our eyes. Isn't that right? Yeah. If God willed, God could make us hear 
with our, uh, <laughs> with our nails and C with our skin. You could do it like this and you could see if God wills. Okay? Um, the snake, what does it walk with? It walks with its stomach, doesn't it? Scales. Is, is that what you call it? Scale? Scales. It, it, it walks with its... What do we walk with? Legs. Yeah. How about, um, how about fish? Do they walk? How do the fish move? Can they even live on earth? They swim and they live in water. Can we live in water for a long period of time? No. No. So who's the one who made this difference? God. Yeah, God. And that's why we believe in God. And, and that's... We're, we're firm and we try our best to be firm on, on, on our religion and we believe in it very truly because in the history of humanity people have worshipped different things like I said like Kathy, like Christine said some people worship snakes because they believe they're powerful some people would worship idols even before Islam uh, before Prophet Muhammad came to Arabia uh, before uh, there were people that used to make idols out of dates. They would worship it, worship it, worship it, they would get hungry, then they would eat what they worship. So, do we say that's wrong? 100% we say that's wrong. Why? Because the only one who deserves to be worshipped is God. No one other than God deserves to be worshipped. And all the prophets from... Who's the first prophet, guys? Adam. Adam. Who, who's the first man? Adam. Adam. And he's the first prophet also. From Adam up to Muhammad, all of them said to the people, there's one... God. And they all told people worship. God. And they told people they all told people to believe in what? God. Of course, but what's after life to believe in what? A heaven and a hell. There's a heaven and there and there's a hell without a doubt, and that's part of our belief. And w one of the beliefs of Muslims too is that when you go in the grave, if you're a good Muslim, the snakes and the inner animals won't harm you. If you go in the grave and you're buried, most bodies they decompose. Even some people, there's, there, there is something called torture in the grave, and it's very painful. Um, um, but the person who was a pious Muslim, he's protected from that. It's, it's even, um, it says in our tradition that the, that the grave is extended, and the beautiful things go in the grave, and uh, a person is happy because of what he did in this life. Are you listening? Okay, so um, is it okay to be scared of animals? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not wrong to be scared, but you shouldn't be that scared. You shouldn't be that scared. And there's a beautiful dua from the Quran that you say if you see animals and you're scared. And, you're scared. and this dua means peace be upon Noah. Because Noah was known as the prophet who took the animals on the, on the ark. So uh, this ayah, this like verse from the Quran, we say, Salamun ala Nuhin fil alameen. If you see any animal that you're scared of, and God will give you the courage to face that animal. Oh, because awesome. Noah was was known, you know, he, he got all the animals on the ark for, uh, and they, it sailed for 150 days until it landed. And uh, God saved, uh, you know, the animals and the believing people that were on the ark. So, so it's not wrong to be scared, but you have to be cautious and you don't want to be too, uh, air, like you don't want to say, oh, I'm not scared and go beside a lion. Because if the lion smiles at you, that doesn't mean he's smiling. It means he's probably hungry, okay? So um, we'll, we'll stop here. Does anyone have any questions to me? Yes? It looks like the snake wants to go down. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It doesn't like me. Probably. It's not used to me. Okay. Okay, so let, let, let's repeat three, uh, three times what I said about the belief. Whatever you imagine. Whatever you imagine. In your teeny weeny little minds. God is not like that. God is not similar to his creation. We worship God and no one else. And we're not shy to say that. Are we shy? No. Not at all. 